all right what's up guys so I'm gonna do a check-in for my one month of my bodybuilding prep so officially tomorrow is gonna be exactly 30 days of me doing this bodybuilding preparation so let's start off with some of the the things that I've learned so far so right now it's only been a month I'm down about five four or five pounds you know roughly five pounds down in this month overall i still i still have plenty of calories my calories are not super low i'm still i'm still not doing cardio just yet i'm just tracking my steps i'm hitting about eight thousand steps eight thousand ten thousand steps a day that's just kind of my normal day at work my calories are still kind of high so me feeling like hunger and things like that i haven't felt anything like that just yet so that's kind of good i think that's one thing that i'm looking more towards down the road is that i'm gonna start feeling like hungry moody so i'm like i'm kind of sort of like looking forward to the day that i make a video i'm like all right guys this is getting intense but as of now it really is not intense just yet so one of the takeaways that I do want to make for this video is what I learned these last two weeks and it's that as I'm starting to drop a little bit my calories because we want to stimulate the weight loss so you know I'm doing weight loss weight loss weight loss weight loss but there's at a certain rate that we want this weight loss because I have a deadline in July I have to step on the bodybuilding stage so my weight loss cannot be half a pound or 0.3 pounds a week you know it has to be faster so we started dropping calories but now with that with that being said that me and my coach dropped the calories I started kind of adding more vegetables because i didn't want like i'm not hungry just yet like i'm still with each breakfast lunch and dinner i don't really get hungry but i started throwing like way more vegetables than i think i should have and that's the problem that i learned these last two weeks is that from going from two to three servings of vegetables a day i went to like sometimes six or seven and i feel that my body wasn't ready for that change so I was hitting, I was kind of waking up a little bit. I wasn't losing any weight. I was retaining water. But actually, you know what? Before I go any forward, I do want to say, because my girlfriend, Myra, thank you, baby. She actually did tell me to do like a, a sort of disclaimer because she's right. This that I'm doing, all these all these tips about about the weight loss, it's... What did you say, baby? It's, this is not for the general population. I guess this is for somebody that is wanting to do sort of like a bodybuilding show like me because I am doing. You're going to the extreme. I'm going to the extreme. So you're gonna to get to the extreme too. Be, because this is an example. I think that everybody that is living a healthy lifestyle should have a lot of vegetables you know of course don't eat like tons and tons of vegetables but yeah have plenty of vegetables you shouldn't be trying to limit your vegetables to one or two servings only because of the scale i think overall the general population when i'm not doing a bodybuilding show you know i don't i'll eat pl plenty of vegetables things like that but right now during this bodybuilding prep where i have to lose weight and get very extremely lean i have to be careful of not have too many vegetables because then if i have too many vegetables i must start looking bloated stomach is going to protrude out if i'm having too many vegetables so this is kind of taking it to the extreme okay but i'm not saying have less vegetables that's not what i'm trying to say but for me in this case because of the bodybuilding show i started having too many vegetables that it was causing me to blow i have like a bloated stomach I, I could feel more bloated and i was retaining water so i wasn't kind of like losing weight anymore i had less calories than the previous weeks but i was just staying there and i think it was because vegetables retain make you retain water and so i was just staying in that same weight and so once i spoke with my coach we decided that 
we were not going to change anything. I was just, I'm just going to go back to my normal habits of like not having too many vegetables. So I went back to two to two to three servings of vegetables a day. And I did that the whole following week. And then my, the scale started to drop again. So the takeaway is if you're doing a bodybuilding show, whatever your habits were before you started your, your weight loss diet, whatever your habits were, they shouldn't change as you start your bodybuilding prep, like your diet. Yes, your calories are gonna drop, but what you should do is more like whatever amount of food you were having, if you were having all the time sweet potatoes and chicken, then don't try to now that you're dieting, try to switch sweet potatoes for rice now. No, like just have, if you're gonna drop your calories, now have less sweet potato or less chicken, but kind of keep those same habits before that you had before before and bring that into your bodybuilding prep so less the less changes the better and that's the thing that i did i just try to switch and have more vegetables and it caused an issue and that was a thing the takeaway for this month all right so now i'm just gonna play the the comparison of day one of my posing when i was very little chunky and then one month now with five pounds lighter and i put it side to side and I thought I was so excited because I actually was able to put it side to side and you guys can see a big difference. And I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right guys, so this is the comparison from day one and yesterday, which was pretty much a month. So one month apart of my bodybuilding prep. So there's five pounds weight loss so far in these two comparisons all right so just letting you guys know this posing is probably not the best to to look at because i actually haven't got any practice or my coach has not taught me any posing just yet he's gonna teach me closer to the to the to the show which is maybe like around may or something like that but right now, I still just practice some bodybuilding poses of what I think, like I see online. So just, it might not look as pretty, but just bear with me. But I do like seeing actually this comparison side to side. So I'm so happy I was able to put these side to side together. Actually, I was just going to put the, the new one. But then I don't feel like you would be able to actually see like, like what are you comparing it to? So... I definitely am getting leaner, so that is good. Let me see. So, so far, five pounds down, no cardio. Just trying to right now, I'm just tracking my steps. That's one thing that right now all we're doing is no cardio. Just make sure that I'm staying active with 8,000 steps a day. Make sure that my training is actually progressing so one thing that i do like right now how i'm getting coached is that i really feel that so happy that my training is still going up i'm still getting stronger but the only reason i feel like it i'm still getting stronger is because i'm not taking a toll my, my body's not taking a toll with a bunch of cardio and, and things like that so i think one thing moving forward that I'm gonna do with also my clients is that even for the weight loss, I'm not gonna try to do too much cardio because I feel like it could take a toll on your training. So, so far I feel like I look pretty lean. Like at 175, I actually, this is the leanest I looked at 175 and I never have reached 175 pounds without any cardio. So I'm excited to see how far I'm gonna take this this fat loss phase without adding cardio but of course whenever my coach he thinks that we're gonna add up the cardio i'm gonna keep you guys updated but as of now no cardio and it's five pounds down so it's good okay guys so that is it for this video <clears throat> i hope you guys learn at least something from it i hope i want to make these videos to at least 
I don't know, learn at least something. I feel like right now it's still early on and there's not much for me to say, but I'm still making these videos from the start. But I feel as I get deeper and deeper, I'ma learn a little bit more. Don't you think, baby? So yes. far, how do you think you my- You learned by experience. What, what do you think, baby, so far? How am I doing with this prep? Am I doing okay? Keep it 100. He's always, do you're always doing okay. Well, okay, so honestly, right now, I really am doing okay because it's not that bad yet. Mm -hmm. But I think later down the Wait, road- what do you mean by okay? Like, I don't know. mood-wise or? I do say mood-wise because I hear that when people do bodybuilding shows and they start getting moody, their significant other like sees it. But so far, <laughs> I don't think your calories are low enough for you to get my, there. My I feel like the whole peak week will be interesting. Yeah, as I get closer. But right now, no. Okay, so thank you, baby. All right, guys, so <laughs> please, if, if you like the video, please like the video. If you guys haven't subscribed, <laughs> please subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. I really want to grow this YouTube channel because I feel like if you if somebody subscribes or somebody likes it or somebody comments it's gonna give like more 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 people will see it in the search place and it's more viewable to the public so please subscribe please like I feel like your neck's hurting <laughs> I feel like I would, love, hold you I, I, will, I would love you guys more all right peace out peace oh. love we're out. <laughs>